Welcome everyone. In this session, we are going to predict uh, key points for an uh, object. Uh, in this case, we are taking a screwdriver as an object and we are going to label them with the key points and we are going to train and we'll, we are going to predict. So for that, we have downloaded uh, around 150 images of screwdrivers and I'm going to use label me to label them. Uh, I'll open the image directory. Okay, so I, I'll select uh, point and I'll um, create a points. Like I'm creating this as a handle. And I'm creating this as a tip. So I'm saving this as a JSON file. So like that, I have created a label for all the images, around 150 images. Once it is uh, created, uh, we want to convert them into a text format. So uh, for example, So this is the image and I want to create the final um, label as this format like uh, this is number of uh, tips and number of handles and this is the uh, x y position for the tip and next to the x y position for the handle. So from the JSON format I converted it into a text format. Next we will use a fast AI to train the data set. So we'll import all the libraries and this is the path we have a data set. So we have a image and this is the label format. Um, um, next, this method, it creates a label file name from the image file name. Uh, then uh, we are uh, getting all the labels and images and we are comparing whether they are both are equal. Um, here we are showing the sample one. Then uh, we are getting all the key points from that uh, label file. Then uh, we want we want only the uh, x-y position. So we are taking uh, from the this uh, these values. This method it creates uh, it's a one-dimensional array. So here it will create a two-dimensional tensor. It's like x-y position. This is for uh, um, tip and this this x-ray position for the handle so we'll combine all these uh, methods in a gateway method like we'll read a label file and we'll parse it and we'll make it as a two-dimensional tensor next we'll create a data block so here we are mentioning this is the image input as an image and this is the point block then uh, we don't have any um, item transfer or batch transform. So then here, uh, since we, take, we have 150 images, we are giving batch size as a 30. Then we are showing the batch. So then uh, we are creating a, a vision learner with the ResNet 18 architecture. We'll pass the uh, data loaders. So we'll find the um, learning rate. So here we are uh, call the fine tune method. Um, it has executed two times, like uh, 100 epochs. So then um, it shows show result. It is showing um, nearby, not exactly the target one. It predicts the near one. So we'll go for individual images. So we'll take this image and we'll predict that um, key points and we'll display it here. So this is the key point. Like this is the tip and this is here we have a handle. Uh, here we are exporting as a pickle file. We'll take another uh, image and we'll show the tip and handle here. So prediction will give it two tensor points. One is for 
actual position for tip and this is for uh, handle so uh, we'll show only the tip uh, so we are going for zero so it is showing only the tip not as a handle next we'll show the handle only we are taking the second array and I will show it here we can create a um, key points for our custom data and we can predict that uh, orientation of that object. Thank you.